why is happening Turbo Toys here? But you can call me Turbski and today we've got some toy hauls because boys and girls, I must admit, now there's been a few days where I've gone out hoping to find something really good to show you guys. But for months now I've been going to the usual spots and there's been a big huge steaming pile of nothing. You go to B&M's and they've had the same Bray Wyatt they've had there for like 20 years and Smith's. Their stock hasn't been as consistent as you'd hope and home bargains, I think they've forgotten what action figures actually are. Now there have been a few surprising fig finds but unfortunately I didn't pick up everything that I wanted so here's a little look at some clips of what I did actually find in the wild. Turbo Zone and show you guys what I did actually pick up. So let's go! Right, first figure we picked up was the Series 87 Collector's Edition, The Warlord. Now this figure is his second Mattel release. Now a lot of people have been buying this figure up so they can make a custom of his Powers of Pain tag team partner, The Barbarian. Similar to what people were doing with that recent Bulldog figure. Now I did start to see the stock levels going down so I decided to jump into action and pick him up and I did manage to get him on a reduced price making it all the more sweeter. I did only manage to get one though because I have no interest in making a custom Barbarian. Right, so the next figure we picked up was the Collector's Edition from Elite Series 86, the Colonel Mustafa. Now the funny thing is, this is the first Iron Sheik Elite figure I actually have in my collection. I missed out on the last three Elites and the only Sheik I do have is his basic release. But being the Collector's Edition, it was another one I felt like I had to get. So I do plan to pick up the Sergeant Slaughter to go along with this one. And if you can actually find this one at Smith's, he actually has been reduced now. So it's definitely worth a pickup if you haven't picked him up just yet. And right, moving swiftly on to the next pickup, we have the Elite 86 Santos Escobar. Now I really like his character in NXT, especially the build up to his takeover match at the WrestleMania 37 weekend. And that was the ladder match to crown the undisputed Cruiserweight Champion against Jordan Devlin. And speaking of which, this is the first appearance of the NXT version of the Cruiserweight title. Plus, that changeable mask scan is a nice addition. I used to watch this guy when he used to wrestle in AAA in Mexico and plus his time in Lucha Underground. So I'm very pleased to have this one in fig form. Right, and as for the next figure, if you don't know the answer to the question, then you should just ask her. Sorry boys, that sounded a lot better in my head. But this is a fantastic version of Asuka and I can't wait to pair her up with Kairi Sane as part of the Kabuki Warriors. I did pick up her first ever Elite but I missed out on a Network Spotlight figure plus the NXT figure. But in my opinion, this one looks like it's going to be her best release yet. Now we also ended up getting the Survivor Series Bailey. Right now just hear, hear me out, hear me out. Now a couple of reasons for wanting this one was that as much as I love that Elite Series 80 Bailey. She just looked too happy for someone who's just turned heel and destroyed all them poor Bailey buddies. So this one displays her in that more heelish role, which I think it suits her a lot more than her Elite 80 counterpart. But also, the main reason for getting this figure is she comes with a SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, I've never had this one in the collection yet. I did manage to get her as well at a reduced price, so I do see that as a great pickup. 
Right now, a lot of the guys in the UK would have seen that the supermarket Tesco's was actually selling AEW figures, which eventually got reduced to £5 each a figure. Now, I think I was a bit too late to the party, but I did manage to pick up this Series 4 Cody. Now, I'm not a massive collector of the AEW figures yet, but there are some that I really do like, and with this being just £5, you can't go wrong with that, boys, can you? Now, we did stop off in B&M's to pick up this Elite 87 Candies LeRae. I went into B&M's and I wasn't expecting much, and then I see a few of the figures from this series, and I think this figure looks really great, and I can't wait to put her next to Johnny Gargano. I used to watch her matches on the indies, so I'm really pleased to finally get a figure of her. Right, so like always, boys, I've been searching on the Ebays, and I've been watching a few of these guys, and they've been going up to stupid bids. But I managed to get this ringside exclusive ECW Cactus Jack for such a good price. And I think this figure looks crazy good. And I actually can't wait to crack this one open and compare him to a few of the other Mick Foley figures because I think this one looks like they've used that dude love scam, but I'd love to compare them just to find out. And it's very cool to get the ECW Tag Team Championship with this one too. Right, we went back to Smith's hitting up the sales because they've been reducing figures left, right and centre. So firstly, we picked up this Charlotte Flair. Now I absolutely love the head scan on this flare, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the same scan as the Ultimate Edition. And basically that is the main reason for buying this figure, so like down the line I'm going to enjoy doing a few head swaps. So I really look forward to doing it. As we move on we've got everyone's favourite shelf warmer. We finally pulled the trigger on Riho, now this was £5 again. I think that was worth it just for the belt. But I'm going to take nothing away from this figure, I think it looks good, it's very well designed. I've got nothing against Riho, I just ain't invested in her as much as I am someone like Shida. I think her matches are pretty decent, but she ain't my favourite women's wrestler on the roster. And next up we have the American Dream, the Elite 83, Dusty Rose. Now I'm not going to lie, I did not need this figure, I just wanted it. Now I already have what I call the Ultimate Dusty, which is the Legend Series 1. And also in the collection I have the Elite Series 63. Now this figure's based on his appearance in the Survivor Series in 1990, so I'm surprised it didn't come out in the Survivor Series set. Now I did miss out on getting the exclusive one with the WCW ring, but if you've done a little mismatch of the Elite Series 63 and the 83, you've pretty much got that figure anyway. And I do actually really like the scale on this one. And coming in last to complete the figure hauls, we have the Elite Series 88 Trish Stratus. Now I've seen people dump all over this one, but I quite like it. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they don't see Trish in this one, calling this one the worst figure of 2021. So maybe I'll give my views on this one. But I did pick this one up for a reason, so if you make sure you're subscribed, you'll find out why I picked it up. But that caps off all the toy hauls from this year so far. So let me know, what have you guys been picking up? What is your favourite figure from this video? It was very awesome to pick up six guys and six girls, but from the Turbsky toy hauls, that's gonna do it for this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, drop a comment and smack that subscribe button like you're gonna smack the person reaching for that last action figure that you want. Come follow your boy on Instagram and TikTok at Turbo Toys. Go out and be the absolute best you can be today, boys and girls. And until that next video, I will see ya. When I see ya.